You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to bring you the Toot Sweet Candy Whistle Maker. And if you're saying you've already done that, I'm going to say yes, we have. You are correct. Look in the description. We'll have a link there to the original video where I make all kinds of Tootsie Roll whistles. This video, though, is a revisit video where we take a maker we've done in the past and then do some new candy with it because we had a lot of good suggestions. We also came up with some stuff that we thought we wanted to test, other soft candies, to see if we can make whistles out of other things like gum, maybe some Starburst or something because it's kind of like a Tootsie Roll. So when we come back, I'm going to show you the different candies we have and we're going to see if we can make whistles with them. All right, so here is our selection of candy. Now, I have a Tootsie Roll in here to kind of remind you why it's called the Toot Sweet, because it originally used those. So this is the kind of candy we can use. It can't have any kind of coating on it, any kind of shell, any kind of stuff inside of it. It's got to be a solid, soft, pliable candy. So why not try Starburst, Mambas, and then see what these gums are, if we can get them to work in the machine. I'm not sure. We'll have to... Figure that out. So when I come back, I'll probably start with the Hubba Bubba, and uh, we'll see if we can make a whistle out of that. All right, so here we go. And if you want to see more of the operation of how this thing comes apart and how it works, all that detail is in the other video. So you can go check that out and learn more about the mechanics. So here is Hubba Bubba Hawaiian Punch Five Pieces of Gum. Now we thought this one particular gum hubba bubba being in the little brick like this sort of has the consistency of a Tootsie Roll. Let me grab my Tootsie Roll. They're the two kinds of candy. One's gum and one's not. So let's give it a shot. Now this is definitely softer than my Tootsie Roll. This Tootsie Rolls were stored somewhere cold. So basically what I need to do is make a shape like a Tootsie Roll that'll fit in this top section, okay, it's got to go down in there, get you a little better shot, huh, okay, just want to fit this in, okay, so not much higher than that, let me take this here and kind of give me a little height, and then I can cut it, Okay, so this is kind of the size I'm looking for. I'll take this off. Now there's a left and right side, so let me put one in here. And then we'll... Oops, sorry. Put that in there first. Okay, then that. Alright, so let's do a top-down look. Now when I push this down, it's going to squish out the candy. Now the only thing we got to worry about at this point is sticking. Looks like there's plenty of gum so that's a good amount. It's spreading out past the actual whistle. Alright so I'm going to let that relax just a second and we'll see. I'll just carefully wiggle this. It'd be nice if the gum came out right on the piece. So gum is definitely going to be stickier. All right, so that did not work too well. Let's see if we could just pry it out and save it. Okay, so it kind of held the shape. It's not perfect. Will it work? It might work if you play with the whistle a little bit. All right, so that would be our first one. We'll just leave that as a test. Let me open up some more. So that die is done, so we need to get this one in and get it set here so I know don't mix them up. Rip off another piece. Roll her up. I wonder, too, if maybe I put a little something on top of the die to help... 
the stickiness. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit lower this time. Maybe a little bit less. There you go, tucked away. Let's see. Okay, so we got some good distribution there. Well, it comes off pretty good, but then it has that little stickiness. Now, this is like a little handle sometimes you can pull on. Let me see if I can just work this out slowly. So that one came out much better. Let me grab some scissors and clean this all up. I did a lot of this on that other video. If you want to see, I might do a couple shapes for you with the, the covers. Those are whistle covers. All those other molds are whistle covers to cover the ends. So now if I join this to this carefully... Okay, match this up. So we'll see. Hmm. Bubblegum whistle number one. So that one worked. All right. So let me grab. I'm curious about this bazooka. I'm not sure if the pieces are the right shape. Ooh, we might be able to get a whistle out of this. Cool looking packaging for bazooka, huh? We haven't actually looked at any of these gums in regards to putting them in videos. It says the bazooka. Free gear, writ, tout. Figure it out. Say these words out loud to figure out the phrase they sound like. Outer space. Outer space. Okay, whatever. Let's see this gum. A little drier. Let's see if we can just work this. Okay, so this one probably, just by feeling it, probably won't work. It's a drier gum. Look at that. It doesn't mold like the Hubba Bubba. Now I could probably soften it up in the microwave and do all that, but... I'm just not sure. I'm just not feeling it. How's that? It seemed kind of dry. But I'm working in my hand and it doesn't want to re-stick to it, so. Probably have to really soften that one. Let's hold off on the bazooka. Let's go into Bubble Yum. Look at that packaging. All right, let's uh, let's try to open it. Here we go. The little tab doesn't want to pull. There we go. Okay, so this looks kind of like a better gum. Yep, I can feel it. It's softer. Kind of has that Tootsie Roll feeling to it. See how nice that is compared to the last one we just checked. All right. So let me make a piece. There, all the way down. You chop that, it looks kind of funny sitting out like that. Let me shave that off. And then let me get one side of my whistle. There we go. You want to see that zoomed way in? All right. So as I'm pushing this down, this lever down is shooting up my candy. It's a very light gum so you won't see it as good okay kind of holding it there gives a little pressure here we go okay so that one got stuck in there let's see if we can save it I wonder if I put a little spray on it Pop 
pop it in the center and see. Nope. See if I can pull it without destroying it. Nope. See if I can get one side out. Yep, it looks like it's this gum is too sticky. See how it's stuck? Hmm. Let's not give up just yet. Let me uh let me get a little cooking spray. Maybe if I put a little Pam in there, this little area here, that will help. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, so this is just some Pam. I'm gonna spray it in a bowl. And then maybe take some on this. See if I can coat the inside of just the P section. I don't want to get this spray all over this toy. Okay. So let's remake it. Tootsie Rolls kind of have a little oil in them when you feel them on your fingers. You know, they have that little, I don't know, maybe it's got a different... Plus now, I'm working this gum, it's really soft. Almost too soft. Okay. Leave a little extra in there. Test number two. Ooh, I don't know about that. I didn't like the feeling. It was almost too easy. Oh, it worked. Not a great channel here. Let's see. You really need that sound area. Right here, it doesn't look like there's enough right there. Hmm. Tell you what, let's just leave that one. Let's just call that, yes, it worked. Not great. Get another piece here. Let me bring in the other die. And then we'll... I call them a die. Okay. Some people call them molds. Okay. Let's do that. And then let's put a little bit on here doesn't stick. Bubble gum whistles. Who would have ever thought? Limited limited touching time here. See without that extra little lip there it might be a problem on that last one. Okay. Oh man, another sticker. Nice little handle though. Ooh, came out really nice. I'm not going to trim it, I just want to test it right away. Clean up this edge. And we'll see if we get a whistle sound. Shh. Hmm. Look at that one. I'm going to put that one somewhere cold. Like the last time I put them in the refrigerator, and then I can play with them a little bit more. So that one's set. All right, I'm going to do, I do have to clean up. Come back, and we're going to try the Starburst and the Mambas next. Okay, so lots of reds and pinks today, huh? All the gum, pink and red. Little coating there. Let's try this super hot pink. This is strawberry. Okay. 
let's get in the packaging. There we go. Let's feel it. Okay. So it's pliable. Just kind of work this one a little bit. It's a little harder than the gum. I feel like it has a little oily coating or my fingers have that. It also feels stickier. That should be good. Let me coat one of these a little bit more. I feel like this is going to be even stickier. Alright, let's see if we can get this one to work. Be nice to have some starburst whistles, wouldn't it? Okay, I see it filling really nice all the way through. Here we go. Hopefully it comes right out. Oh, and it did. Okay, nice. Let me get a little of that extra cooking spray off of there. Now let's clean up around this one while we have it here. Yes, you'll see in the Tootsie Roll video, I do different colors and I mix things up. It's definitely, a, uh, that was definitely going to be a longer video than this one. Okay. There we go. Part one. Let's do a different color on the other side of that one. How about we do that? I believe that was the one that just came off. This is the one we need. Just giving it a little moisture there. I could see the oil on there now, so. Okay, here we go. I mean, if one color Starburst works, all the Starburst should work. And it looks like a Starburst is a perfect size. Here we go. All right, this one down here. All right, ooh, you see that one? That one's nice to see, it's nice and bright here. I'll try to get you as close as possible. Okay, how's that? See that spread through? I don't know, I find this stuff fascinating. It's cool to look at. If I kind of hold it, just to get that pressure. And hopefully, the suction. Good. I mean, based on the gum, and it wasn't perfect, it worked, so. The only issue on this might be the oil. Might be too oily. Okay. Let's zoom this out a little bit. Toot Sweet is working toot good. Yep, not as sticky. We might get some air loss, but there's our whistle. I might have to chill this one. There you go. So that is a starburst whistle. I mean, uh, hate to do it, but my hands dirty, stuff everywhere. Come back. Let's check out the mambas. All right, it's just nice for me to start with clean hands, and then I clean up all the scraps and pieces. It's the Mambas 18 Fruit Chew. So I'm going to say it's pretty safe to say that any soft fruit chew candy without a coating is going to work. And if the gum is soft like a hubba bubba, it's also going to work. Okay, 
Let's make a yellow one. There's the Mambas. Doo, 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 doo. So this is probably our fifth or sixth, maybe more, tenth revisit video on makers. All of the McDonald's makers were revisited. Some popcorn makers were revisited. All right, let's see. It feels hard, but I might be able to redo it. I mean, get it soft. I am redoing the video. I'm going to say it's safe to say it feels just like a Tootsie Roll. Warm that up. That's what makes my hands sticky when I do that. Right, let me get two ready. What do you think? An orange and a red? An orange and a yellow. It's hard not to taste and eat these because I haven't... I've done one type of mom, mamba, but not... Uh, did I call it mambo? I'm thinking of, hey, mambo, mamba. I'm not sure. Sorry if I did. Alright. It's harder than anything we put through the machine, so I have to be careful we don't break the handle in any way. Soften it up, warm it up in my hand. All right, let's try the yellow first. Okay, looks good. Let me trim a little bit off. That might have been too much. I'll leave just a little bit on there. I'm going to eat the rest. Sorry, I had to have one. Here we go. You won't see much because it's yellow. Oh, it's squishing. I feel it squishing. I see it coming through. Mmm. Tasty candy whistles. Okay. It's a little harder to take off. Oh, my mambo's stuck. I got a stuck mambo. I see all the remnants and colors from the other one too. Oh, popped right out. Yes, that's some of the starburst maybe. All right, don't trim it. Let's do the orange. Now the colors, as you can tell, are not nearly as bright as the starburst. All right, I'm just going to use the whole thing, I don't think it'll hurt, just give us a little extra pull up on, ooh, sorry, I would have had to made more, okay, here we go. Creaking. Nice. All right. Here we go. I'll probably. What I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Let me get this whistle out. We'll test it. Then maybe I'll make a couple of the other dies. The molds. Look at that. I'm going to say that one came out probably one of the best in regards to holding its shape. And right, now I'm kind of squeezing it together just a little. Perfect. All right, so let me... 
Let me grab a couple of the other shapes and then I'll come back and make a couple for you because you could so you could see it. I showed them in the other video, but I'll do it now and then I'll come back and show you all the whistles. Okay, so I pulled the creepy guy face. Now if you're not sure, I just thought it was the flattest. And then the fish. Okay, these are decorations. They go on the front of your whistle. And then here was the Hubba Bubba, which worked the best in regards to being soft. I still might put a little oil on the piece itself. Okay, cut that with the scissors. That would be easier and make more sense. There you go. So see, it kind of looks like a bubblegum Tootsie Roll, doesn't it? And then let's do the fish. I'll give it just a little bit of a coating, not a lot. Okay, let's do the fish. Okay, put that on there. I chose the darker color so we could actually see this better here. Let me show you. And you'll see how cool this is. Look at that. Ooh, the gum is super soft and easy compared to the Mambos and the Starburst. Then you just take it off. I think it's a little short. Not bad. His tail may be just a little bit cut off, so I need to get this in the refrigerator. But see, this goes on the top of your whistle. All right, I'm going to do Starburst. Almost set. Got all my whistles are being chilled right now. I'm just going to leave it. This is the crazy guy's face. See it? A lot of detail in these. But like I said, if you want to see all the other ones being made, I show them all in that other video. I know they work and they look cool. Look at that. I mix colors and do all kinds of other stuff there. Okay. Hopefully it comes right out there. There's his happy face. Look at that. Does he look happy to you? All right, so. Well, I can get this off while you're here, and then I'll come back. I'm all set. I just want to chill, chill my face. I'm gonna chill my face. Sounds kind of funny now. Then you can clean it up real nice. Okay, let me see if I can take it off for you. There, work good. There he is. All right, I will come back and give you my final presentation. All right, so here we go. Each whistle, as I bring it out, I will give it a little That is the hubba bubba. And then the next one is the bubble yum. Working good. And then my Starburst, which is the two color one, works. And then the last one is the Mambas. And that works good. All right. And now the faces. So this was the Starburst face. Now it goes this way on the whistle. Now they're a little cold and I haven't tried to stick them, but it sits on front like that. Okay, so that's kind of what. It would look like when it's done and then this one here was the fish remember the fish and that should go this way on this whistle who that one sort of sticks see so that's your decorated whistle let me zoom in now and show you all of them up close 
and you tell me which whistle you like, which candy you like the most. And now we know pretty much any soft candy or gum that has this consistency will work with these. All right. It is the Toot Sweet Maker, but not with Tootsie Rolls, other candy. And if you enjoyed the video, you know, let me know in the comments. And if you like seeing remake videos where we, you know, do different things with older makers, then let us also know that in the comments. And thanks for watching and supporting... Hey, fishy, get back. And supporting Lucky Penny Shop. And thanks for sharing our videos, giving them a thumbs up, and retweeting the tweets. It really helps us. Thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.